I'm with Prolific Pictures. We are a sales agency based in Los Angeles. We've been around for about a year and a half. Uh, we are a very new company, but um, we go to all the markets around the world, and uh, we are currently in Cannes. Well, I started as a writer and um, basically failed upwards. Uh, so I was a writer and then um, I produced something that I wrote with a partner and um, first some short things and then we produced a feature film uh, and um, got it to a sales agent and it was released. Um, but we always wanted to get into the distribution side of the business um, and so after that we produced another film and at that time decided to start the sales agency. Um, a sales agent is basically uh, a representative of the film to buyers around the world. So, um, and you know, sometimes they, they get involved early, sometimes even at the, the script stage. Um, most commonly they get involved um, when the film is finished. Um, and so, you know, we take the film, we have two tools we, we use, and pretty much two tools uh, only, which is the uh, key art, the, the poster, and the trailer. So those are the tools that we use to get the buyer to watch the film. And then the buyer either buys or doesn't buy. Um, and possibly um, certain uh, festivals, of course, will will also play a factor. If you're in Sundance, you know that is something that that you know anybody would use to to, to sell the film, and, and that that does matter. If it's not a really top tier festival, Sundance, Cannes, Berlin, uh, TIFF, South by, um, uh, it is pretty. Uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter um, to any buyer out there whether. You know, you've won 20 awards in festivals that they've never heard of. They don't, they don't look at films that way uh, because they can't use that to sell the film. It's all about what the buyer can use to sell the film. So when we present them with, with a poster and a trailer, we're presenting them with tools that they will use to sell the film. Um, so we need to understand how they sell films to their audiences um, and, and basically uh, kind of almost reverse engineer it. Um, and so, so, but that's that's what we do is is position the film in its in its most sellable way uh, that doesn't misrepresent the film. If you have one action scene in a drama, we will not put a big explosion on the poster because that is misleading and it misrepresents the film. The buyer will not be happy when they watch it. The audience will not be happy when they watch it. Um, so, uh, but you know. If you've got 40% action and 60% drama, we're gonna put action on the poster. Um, so uh, that's what we do. I think the best advice for filmmakers is really trying to understand the, the market, trying to understand um, what is happening out there currently in terms of the value of, of films, uh, how they're sold, who they're sold to, uh, who sells them, um, and really making sure that you are making the right project at the right budget. Um, so many films we, we see uh, are just made for too much money. Um, everything is becoming a, a, a streaming game right now, which is actually a volume business, which means that um, many films are sold, but each individual film is getting less and less money. So um, the sellers and the platforms are making money, but the individual filmmakers are not really recouping their budgets. Um, so it's really important if, in fact, that's what you need to do to recoup, which most people do. Uh, it's really important to make the project for the right budget and to really understand what your film is going to do. So talk to sales agents, go to markets, um, 
and just and just get as much intel as you possibly can before you uh, even write the script. The best time to approach a sales agent would be um, for 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 the filmmaker would be before you even write the script when you have the idea when you when you are planning to to um, develop the the project you should understand the market and know exactly what you're developing and know exactly how you should write it what elements you should have and what you should not have and um, uh, you don't have to actually partner with the sales agent, but you should understand what the sales agent, when you finish the film and bring it to them, what the sales, the sales agent is, is, is going to want and what the market is going to want. You know, uh, filmmakers should, should um, pursue their vision, absolutely, whatever that happens to be. If it's the most unsellable thing, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, they they should execute and explore the things that that they're passionate about, but they should understand exactly what the value of that thing that they're doing has in the marketplace, just so that they know, and and that there are no surprises once they make this thing that they're in love with, um, that in fact. The marketplace, um, the, the, there, are, there are few possibilities for it. Um, and uh, so I think that approaching a sales agent extremely early, uh, going to markets and talking to as many of them as you can and just getting as much intel as you can um, is, is extremely important. Um, Prolific is in, interested in anything of quality. Um, our basic, basically, two our, our two criteria for picking up a film is if it is a, of enough quali quality that um, we maintain a reputation with our buyers, that we have a certain level of film, and then the other cri criterion is uh, if we feel that we can help the filmmaker recoup their budget, uh, and if we can't, if we feel we can't, we want them to know that upfront. Um, it is, it is, uh, there is a tremendous amount of pressure on sales agents to, to acquire films, new films, every single market. So um, it, it, it frequently happens that, that they will inflate projections. Maybe they're being optimistic or maybe uh, um, they just uh, want to get the film. Um, but acquiring films is is extremely important for, for sales agents and occasionally can can be a kind of tricky place for uh, filmmakers because they receive a bunch of projections that will not turn out to be accurate um, so uh, but we don't agree with that practice and, and want to tell the filmmaker very very early what we think we can do with the film and um, you know that we'll work as hard as we can but um, uh, you know th their film will only do what it's what it's going to do. Uh, they can reach out to info at prolificpictures.com um, and um, let us know what you're up to and let us know what you're working on. Um, we don't currently finance anything, uh, so we're honestly looking for projects in the early stages that have a clear path to production and um, uh, will become finished films. Um, but certainly, you know, we're open to talking to anybody and everybody about this business. This is what we love. We're, we're all here ultimately to be a part of a film and part of uh, telling a story. Um, so, uh, yeah, reach out to us.